now we will learning about the spider. Scientists in the United States managed to find the answer why cobwebs are able to withstand great power. They claim these findings can be used to help design new generation superpower materials. According to scientists, the extraordinary power of the spider web is not only due to the raw material of silk threads that are tough, but also the intricate design of the web itself. Marcus Mueller of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston says the true strength of the spider web does not lie in its constituent silk thread. But on the change in mechanical properties when there is a concern about the net, he said. The complex structure of the net plays an important role. When one of the threads is broken or broken, for example, the overall strength of the spider web is increasing. According to Bueller, making the net consumes most of the energy of the spider so that the animal needs a design that prevents major improvements when the web is damaged. Scientists also found silk threads on spider webs have the ability to be soft or rigid, depending on how big the load is. It's not like natural fibers or other man-made, Bueller said again. The scientists compared the spider silk thread with three other materials as a net maker. Apparently, spider silk is six times more resistant to damage when fallen twigs fall or strong winds. Similarly, when given an additional burden, only one spun silk thread was broken. With minimal damage, the spider just needs to make small improvements to the net every time there is damage rather than creating a new net. Surprisingly, when the researchers reduced the burden of up to 10% from various points on the spider web, the net was even 10% stronger. According to this research, spider silk threads are five times stronger than similar threads made of steel. The latest study, published in the journal Nature, Friday, February 3, 2012, it found, spider web contains two types of silk threads. The first type is a rigid and dry silk thread that stretches like a radius from a central point to the edge of a net. The second type is a thinner, sticky silk thread, called sticky silk. This second type of yarn is arranged in a circle, attached to the fingers of dry silk. Sticky silk is also useful for trapping prey in the spider web.